Get ready to clock up hours of play with 10 of the best idol games. Not all games require your full attention. In fact, some of them don't need any. If you're not already familiar with the world of idle games, the concept might seem weird. Well, once you check in that second day and start seeing the numbers grow and rewards piling in, you'll realize why they're totally addictive. You can play them while you wait for another game to load. You can play them to pass time at work when you're feeling lazy. I'm playing one right now. But don't tell Matt or Louise. Can I help you? So if you're ready to join the patient world of idle games or find a new way to rack up hours of play, we have 10 games that make watching numbers tick up a full-time hobby. And for more videos about games we play without really playing, as well as new releases, gaming psychology, and much more, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell for a reminder just like your favorite idol game. So here are 10 games to make the passage of time your new favorite thing. Be a good worker and squeeze those lemons to earn a few cents. Then save up those to start selling more, expanding your business till your sweet, delicious lemonade becomes sweet, delicious global domination. Okay, let's backtrack a little. In Adventure Capitalist, you've got to spend virtual money to make virtual money. So you set up various businesses, hire managers to run them, and let the digital bucks roll in with nothing more than a few indolent clicks. The more money you earn, the less work you do, which seems unfair, but also like real life. It's an idle game, of course, so you're meant to step away, but even with all my workers collecting the cash for me, I can't help but sit and watch those numbers grow. Aw, look at them. Once you've graduated from newspaper delivery to oil tycoon, the money making just continues. Next stop, the moon. Seriously, you can industrialize the moon. In space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Watch pixelated forests become pixelated wastelands, which become pixelated dungeons as you fight your way through Grim Clicker. This idle game is unique in its extensive skill tree, which allows you to fling magic at skeletons, become super speedy, and get really, really strong. All things I would like in real life. There's crafting and daily quests to fulfill, doing, you guessed it, more killing of ways of beasties to collect precious reward crystals. Just leave it running in the background and you'll hear swipes of the sword that let you know your knight is still fighting hard, along with the occasional blast of metal just to pump up with you and the fighter. Yeah, see you in hell, purple wolf. And then there's the ritual. We don't talk about the ritual. So let the enemies line up and try to defeat the grim clicker. I have all the time in the world. Unlike most idle games, there's actually quite a lot to keep you busy in Forager. Your little blob works night and day keeping energized with berries to turn your small island into an industrial superpower. You're in control, collecting resources and building new machines to turn your berry picking into farming, rock smashing into smelting, and general knowledge into magic. There's an ever-growing skill tree which grants more and more structures to build, and that's when things get a little more idle. As you set up rows of windmills, furnaces, and factories, you can sit back and let them produce the valuable building blocks you need. But if your fingers are itching to click on some more trees, you can unlock other islands and continue expansion without stopping for a break. My second island had cute turnips on it, and they cried when I hit them. So be warned. Dangers are out there. It may be set in the Forgotten Realms, but Idle Champions takes a lot less active dedication than your regular Dungeons & Dragons session. You'll still be playing for a lot longer than you planned in a single setting, but it won't be through constant management. Like the name and this entire list suggests, you can leave this RPG running in the background, letting your heroes battle it out until death. But it's less dramatic than it sounds. They just start at the previous level to get stronger. No one's ripping up your character sheet here. 
Just like your regular campaign, all the combat is structured around exploration and a story. So you're not just hacking and slashing for the hell of it. But yes, all you barbarians, there is a lot of the aforementioned slashing. You can join the fight by clicking on enemies to attack, but you'll soon realise it's much more satisfying coming back every few hours to billions of gold coins to spend as you wish. Look mum, I'm rich! Pretend rich. Shooters. They're all about timing, precision, the satisfaction of pulling a trigger and watching something pop. Except time clickers, where the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on auto fire mode and just watch brightly coloured boxes pop as you upgrade all the guns and hire a team of bots to help you not shoot the boxes. Suddenly, pulling the trigger is the least of your worries as you upgrade their weapons, your own automatic one, and engage new modes to progress through the waves. In a genre where not playing the game is a hallmark of just how good it is to play, Time Clickers is the perfect desktop distraction to check in with every so often for a stress-free arcade hit. No, it doesn't make sense to me either. Maybe you feel that regular idle games are stuck in a one time period, and you'd rather play with the entirety of evolution. Well, you're in luck, as this biological idler lets you do just that. You start as a single-celled organism, but by patiently tapping and waiting, you'll grow it into the future of the human race. That's right, not only do you whiz past lizards, monkeys and the industrial revolution, you'll see things crawl out of the sea and into the possible future. But to begin with, you'll just be proud to have your very first sponge grace your screen. Wow! All those essential life components grow up so fast. It puts any biology lesson you've had to shame, finally teaching you all the things you definitely thought you knew, but are glad you certainly do now. And you'll ace the next pub quiz you join, as long as it's about human evolution. And you were paying attention. Does one million clicks sound right for the time period of the first mammal to walk the earth? There's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. Realm Grinder provides both active play where you can micromanage your kingdom till it sparkles like the dominating empire it is, or the choice to close the window and let it grow in your absence. Then you can just check back in on a whim, like the spoiled rich ruler that you are, foregoing busy work in the favour of gallivanting on a pegasus. Nice work! Yeah, it's an RPG, so I'm allowed to roleplay, okay? Great job! You can be good or evil and select factions to reflect your rule. So obviously mine has mushroom buildings and fairies to assist. But whichever leader you are, you'll be equally busy not playing most of the time. That is, if you'll set your workers up, then leave them to collect coins and mana. Every time you check back, billions of gold coins will be waiting for you to spend on more wizard towers or hell portals, depending on your faction. Never did I think demons could be that organised, but hey, they get things done. We talk a lot about Stardew Valley on the channel. Well, Louise does, and I help. But it's important to remember that sometimes you just want to be able to garden without worrying about seasons, or friendships, or the stress of having to refill a pixelated watering can, despite the existence of magical blobs that live in a hut. Anyway, Plantier is here to save you from ever worrying about any of those things again. Here, all you have to do is grow the most productive garden while defending your precious fruit and veggies from predators like these dastardly fluffy bunnies. Yes, that is a hammer, and yes, they definitely deserve it. While you'll start off desperately clicking to make money as fast as possible, once you've added some scarecrows and guard dogs, you can happily watch your minions dutifully collecting produce, leaving you to worry about expanding further and pondering pair replacements. Orange, you glad I left out a bad fruit pun? Step into the foggy cave of Idle Wizard and you'll become a most powerful sorcerer, watching your magical numbers rise. 
This fantasy idler has you growing your magic knowledge and power, selecting unique classes as you do, from standard druids and necromancers to hybrid shamans and desolators. Whatever that is. Probably best not to get on their bad side. There's also pets to get, but instead of puppies or kittens, you get a demon pit lord. Aw, cute, he set my house on fire. All these options and add-ons allow for deep customization that adds different spells and effects to change the course of your wizardhood. You can shut it down to fully idle and collect precious mana while you do something else, but then you'd miss the occasional magical noise as a bat flies across your cave and you jump out of your skin. And who wouldn't want that? Oh, okay, it's just the bat. It's just the bat. It's fine. Shakes and Fidget is what it would be like if you're an adventurer's PA. You meet with people to organize their quests, but you don't actually experience them personally. Instead, you leave your capable hero to do the fighting while you sit back in a tavern somewhere. Don't let that put you off. The satisfying part is seeing the gold and XP roll in, letting you deck out your warrior in shiny new loot. Besides, you're too busy to get your boots dirty. Watching your champion take on bigger challenges each day provides you the satisfaction of being the tiger mum you never thought you were. Get back to work, you. Each day that you check in, your adventurer is refreshed and ready to fight again, allowing you to leave them battling through deserts and medieval hills while you get on with some productive tasks, such as eating cookies and staring out the window until the magical jingle reminds you to check back in. Ah, yes, I was definitely doing something right then. Good job. You paid attention. So those were some of the best idle games to keep you tapping your pro wireless mouse. And we've only scratched the surface. There are tons out there, such as the text adventures of a dark room or the weird and wonderful stories of NGU Idol. Let us know your favorite idle games in the comments below. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like if your tired fingers are up to it. And for more lists just like this, subscribe to the channel. And if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss when an upload lands.